Now we're gonna pull off this heat shield here. Get that out the way. It's got a sheet here. Oh, this is this is disgusting. Why is that so greasy? That shouldn't be greasy like that. I think he might have a different problem. <laughs> we, had, we had to use a specialty tool to get this off. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So you had to do that's what you had to do. And when you get this off, this is connected to this. So this is all one piece. Yeah. So you need a specialty tool to get this apart. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yo, yo, I'm not making this shit up. This you know what I'm saying? Real. This is some real life shit, yo. This shit is expensive just to make money. You know what I'm saying? So I got a fucking charge. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't nothing against you. I love you all. You know what I'm saying? But I got the tools to do the jobs. That's all I'm trying to say. If y'all need the work done, y'all got the tools to do the job. Hit your boy King Joffy Joe up. 413 Riker Garage. Check you in the next one. Peace. <laughs> What up, guys? What up, guys? It's your boy, King Joffy Joe, 413. Back with another one. I see you I'm getting away. I'm going. What's going on, guys? How you guys doing? Chilling? You already know me, chilling like always. All right, guys, so today is another day. We're back in the garage, you know what I'm saying? You see we got D413 on the back working on his bike, um, Blue Fuck It, you know what I'm saying? That's the name of his bike. So right now what he needs in his bike is rollers. So he's going to be doing the belt and the rollers on his bike. Um, so right now he's working hard, getting the clamshell. We're going to pull off the uh, top um, uh, clutch and uh, change the rollers in it. So a lot of times when we when I do videos like this, I get a lot of comments in the in the comments. We get a lot of questions like what we do and how we do this. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of you guys watch a lot of videos, a lot of videos, and you still don't know what to do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> or you think you don't know what to do. So same thing with my brother. You know what I'm saying? He's watching me do these things a bunch of times. Now he has his own bike, and now he's, every time we do something, he's like, "How you do that? How you do that? How you do that?" So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna let him do the work, and all the questions that you might ask, he might ask, and it might. Uh, relieve some of the questions in the comments. You know what I'm saying? So right. that's what we're gonna do. So right now, clam shelling it. That's what he's gonna do. Right now, that's what he's working on. Mostly everybody knows how to do that. So I hope you got questions on that. There's a million videos on that. So we're probably gonna skip that part. And once it's clam shell, we'll start getting into the nitty gritty. All right, guys. Yes, sir. So stay tuned. Guys, um, he got all his bolts out. You know the ones in the front, the one in the side, the one in the back. So now he's about to clam shell. I'm gonna show you guys a little trick that's gonna help you when you're doing this job don't oh you just pulled the seat off it's fine it's fine it'll clip right back on might as well leave it off now uh, i said take that off you ain't take that off uh, yeah my fault all right lift it up damn this shit heavy as fuck yeah all right all right so a little trick i learned to make this higher put this screw in here and we're gonna put this pole it has to go all the way in here. Lift it up, 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 lift it up. Right there, down. All right, so I put this screw inside there so this pole can't slide. Mm. That's going to hold it, hold that real quick. That's going to hold the pole from sliding. And we leave this right here on that hard plastic right there. So if I put this right here and I put this right here, that's going to make it a lot easier to get this out when it's time to take that out. Because taking that out is not easy um, when it's not open all the way. Well, all right, we, we so. that wrench back. That's what we're using, right? Yeah, we got these stuff. Here's a box of stuff for you. We got a wrench. You can use a drill if you want. I use a drill. You got to be careful when you use a drill. You make sure you press it in. Um, they're 30 millimeters, but... I don't want to strip my shit. All right, he don't want to strip it. So these are 30 millimeters. You have 14 of these to get out. God damn. <laughs> he don't want to use God a drill. damn. He don't want to use a drill, so... He's going to hand do all 14 of those. Yeah, I sure am. That's the way I come out. All right, so now he got that loose. Now it's gonna be pretty easy to get this out if he just finet he's gentle with it. You gotta be gentle, make sure you're gentle with this. It's not because he's gonna break it, but if you don't be gentle, let it go, let it go. If you don't be gentle with it, you gotta get it stuck. And once you're stuck, you're stuck. You just wanna be gentle, bring the bottom off a little bit. And swing it around the top over this way. And bam. I said gentle, but that was gentle because I was rougher one time and it got stuck. All right, so. Um, Shield, guard, remember how it comes in. You see how it has little things? Yeah. Make sure it comes in. You got a little shield here that has to, you can just, you can take it off. You don't have to take it off. You probably don't need to. That's the heat shield though. Um, so now you got your box here. Tool, specialty tool. That's a specialty tool there. 
You want to back that out a little bit, that screw out. <laughs> oh, I actually got to take this bolt out, so. Daddy. Take this bolt out. Give me the tool. I don't got the tool. It's in the box right there. Daddy. What's up, buddy? What size is that? 17. 17 millimeter. Oh, Take off my shirt. Washer. You don't got to replace that, but you want to, um, <coughs> shit, hot as fuck. Specialty tool. All right, specialty tool. So if you're just changing the belt, I don't think you have to take out that that uh bolt, but screw this all the way in. Screw that all the way in. So I tried different wrenches to try to use to use that, but I really didn't have that. So vice grips were the best thing. You get a little grip on it, and you swing, you just swing back and forth a little bit. So you go, and when you about to hit something, you swing. When you get down here, you swing. Oh, yeah, you, you got us a good. And now you just crank that all the way down. Had this all the way tightened in, so now all he has to do is get this belt off. So, um, it's easier. Take this off. What you want to do is try to get the top off, and then you want to get the bottom off and wiggle it off. It's going to be a little hard to get the bottom off once you get down there. It's a tight space. So we are going to have to take this bottom gasket thing off. That's going to give you a little bit more space. All right, now you get the belt off the top. Oh, it might even be easier if you could do it like that. I do it. And then take the belt off. All right, so. And get the belt off, so take the screw off. All right, so since he took that bolt off and we're doing the rollers, it was way easier. We probably didn't even need to use the tool, but we did. Um, you could probably take that part off. So this washer, you always want to make sure there's washer on here. That washer is um, take what respect. part off? That tool. You can take that tool off. Screw it off. Yeah. You gotta have to tight as fuck. Vice grips. You do the thing that you screw in. Unscrew that. Yeah. So usually you wouldn't, when it came off like that, you would have had to use that tool and you would have had to wiggle this belt off. He's still gonna have to get the belt off the bottom because he's changing the belt. So the belt is still gonna have to come off the bottom. Um, this belt has about, what, 12,000 miles on it almost? Yep. Almost 12,000. Belt looks fine to me. Um, no, nah, it's wear on it. I can see the wear on it. Look right here. Look like right here. It's lower. That edge right there is lower than the rest of the belt. Yeah, but that doesn't even touch nothing. No, no, I'm just saying. It squeezes our hair. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying it looks good. It looks good to me. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. It probably is wear on it. Obviously, there's wear. It's 12,000 miles on it. There's wear on it. Yeah, it's some wear on but, it. But um, let's take a look at I didn't see no rollers falling out like mm -hmm. that in pieces. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, it's definitely stuck. Look, at it didn't even close when you took that off. That was supposed to close. Nah, that ain't right. Something's wrong with it's this. rollers stuck in there. Man, but my rollers ain't ain't broken though. Yeah, they are. You said they no, wasn't, said, motherfucker. No, I, said they, I didn't see yeah, nothing falling out. I, said, well, I, I didn't changing. see nothing falling out. Yeah, I said. your man's be changing the story, yo. I didn't see nothing falling out. No, I'm talking about the whole time I was telling you that that my shit needed that. I didn't say you didn't. I said that it might be. I don't think it do. No, I didn't say I don't think it do. I said I don't know what it is. Yeah, it, yeah that one's fucked up. That's probably need a helix too, but. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, give me yours. Shit. This shit's nah. already apart. You might just give me yours. Um, all right, so I'll give you the money right now. All right, so he got his, he got it off. He got it off. So we gotta set up that machine. This shit's hot, yo. You got me working with hot shit, yo. That's, you the one that came and wanted to get to work. You the one that got to go to work. I ain't gotta go to work tonight. All right, so now specialty tool. We had to buy this tool from um, eBay. This tool right here. What the fucking turn this this way. All right. So this is a press. So first what I'm gonna do is we're gonna put this on here and we're gonna break the screws loose just to get the screws loose. Cause this is gonna hold it. So, cause it twists when you try to get the screws loose. So this has threads on here. It's gonna, yeah, right there. It's gonna hold it from twisting. So we can break these screws loose. So. We'll throw the, uh, we got a washer here. Throw this on top. Throw this back on. Whew. Don't need to ratchet. All right. This is just going to help it from twisting when we're trying to break the screws. Uh, 40. These are 40 T's. So we just use this tool right here. Push it down. We're going to break these loose. I probably got a ratchet 40. Break through right here. 40. Break these loose. Just break them loose now. So it doesn't twist. So we're not, we don't have no right now. We have nothing 
keeping this compressed. We're just doing this to break these loose. So when we compress it, the compressor doesn't help it stop it from twisting. So it gets a little hard to hold it and try to break them loose. So now we're gonna take this off. This off. This on. And we're gonna throw this on. We're gonna throw this back on. And now we're gonna throw this on. And now we're gonna put this this on. <laughs> now we're gonna tighten this. All right, see now I can compress it. How that see how that spreads apart? Boom. Mm -hmm. Now we can take our ratchet. My right, ratchet go over ratchet here. right here. Let's see now how I try to loosen this. They twist it twists, but now since I've broken loose already, or we can actually tighten this. Yeah, wrap up your way. Tighten this all the way down more. Tighten it down more so we can. It won't twist as much. Let's see if we can do it with this. Usually we can't. Okay, with mine it was too it's way too tight. Um, these four bolts right here, they're recommended that you replace these when you take them out. These bolts are about fifteen dollars a piece. Mm -hmm. They want you to spend sixty dollars on bolts. Sixty dollars. Actually more because you gotta get that big one for the front. That's eighteen. Yeah. Seventy-eight dollars on bolts. Yeah, okay. It's more than that. All right. That's great. <laughs> A little bit more than that, just on the bolts. Have that. <laughs> plus the plus the part you're replacing. All right. Don't forget that you're replacing the rollers, so you got better. That was sixty dollars, seventy dollars. Seventy dollars. Seventy dollars for the rollers. The belt was two hundred and something. Right. So you're looking at like almost <laughs> four hundred dollars. Four hundred dollars job. That's why I only charge you five hundred for it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying I ain't trying to get you over the thousand mark. Nine hundred. <laughs> right. Crazy. The dealer gonna charge you Dealer's two grand. Charging up two grand. Y'all like, I you said D was going to be doing this. You doing it. I don't know. Nah, you're just doing that part. You're changing the rules. Nah, I, I did all the rest. That's what you're supposed to know how to do, though. That's the way they uh, do, you need to know how to do. Nah, nah, nah. You're the mechanic. I'm going to detail it. It's always been like that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, see what my rollers look like. If there's there, any left in there. I don't think there's none in there. If there's any left in they there. They probably turn to powder because I ain't seen nothing fall out. Nah, nah that's what it's But no, nah, there's something holding it from closing. When yeah. you took that off, that should have closed. And that didn't close at all. So signs holding it, holding it from closing. Oh, look at it right here. This is a piece from the from my shit. That's a piece from my roller. Crazy. Now they putting shit in there that's breaking like that, yo. Imagine how much money they lose if they have to do a recall on the rollers. And fix everybody's bikes. Why? Right, they could just charge them two grand to get it. They making it dealers money. Everybody starts start breaking. They make a recall on it, and then they, I'm just saying they would have they to. They all breaking every they time. Would, they would lose mad money. <laughs> right. You go to change. If it's time to change your belt, most likely you, if your belt's still good, your rollers are no good. Look at it. They got the pieces right there. I can see them from here. See them. Look at that piece right there. Big ass chunk. Yeah. Ooh, that was. Yeah, they go on the ground. Yep, one, two. Yeah. Wow. All right, another one. He looks doesn't look too bad. Three, four. <laughs> wow. That's it, nothing else in there? This is all we got left of the rollers, so. Oh, there's a whole one in here. There's a whole one in here. One, one, one good one. One whole one, yeah. One good one. Oh. One whole one in there. Okay. It's over there. All right. That's what we were rolling on, that one good one then. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so now what we have to do is, now we got it apart. As you see, we just took it apart with the specialty tool. You know what I'm saying? When I say specialty tool, just know it's gonna be a cost a lot of money for me to do this job. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. All right. So now you got this out. All you can see, there's rollers. There's one roller here. There's no roller here. Um. Here goes, here goes the other ruler right here. He has the pieces right there. Um, so these screws that come out of here, we got to take off that hold the roller. If you take these screws off and lose these screws, you cannot just buy these screws. You have to buy this whole half assembly. This whole half of the assembly is $300. So um, 
like the bike that I'm working on for uh, Riker Rentals of Boston, this is what they need. This, there's just this piece. But I had to buy, I bought eBay a whole thing for $300 instead of just buying this one half for $300. But if you mess up these screws or lose these screws, strip them or anything like that, um, you have to buy this whole thing. You want to remember which side which screw goes in because it has to go in the same side. That's one thing they are specific about. So what I do is I take my paint pen and I mark I mark each screw, so and I mark them differently. So this one, I put a line across on the hair and on the housing, just so when I put it back on, I can line it up. See, it? like this here, you might not be able to see the white one, but there's, it goes straight across. And then on this one, I do like a 90 degree one. And another reason for this is Another reason for this is there's pins that go through these screws. So they have to be lined up perfectly when you put them back in. If you don't line them up perfectly, the pin's not going to go back through and uh, you're messed up. Um, it does tell you to torque these down to a certain specification when you put them back on. But if I tighten these down and these marks aren't lined up, the pin's not going to go through. So I'd rather have the pin go through than it be tight, torqued down to what I'm thinking it's supposed to say. Um, all right. So now we got them marked. Now, to take those pins out that are being held in going through the screw, we have to use this punch here. It's a one eighth punch. That's what it is. Let me just. Came from Harbor Freight. Mm -hmm. There it out. Came out. There's two of them. Um, it really doesn't matter when the, which side the pin goes back in. Make sure you put it back in. As long as you put it back in. Uh, the high torque rollers come with new pins. They are hard as hell to get back in. So uh, I sometimes I, I just use the old pin. Um, if D wants to try to get the new one back in, he can try it. 27 fits better. <laughs> All right, so these are 27 T's going in the side. So we're going to move both of those. They're not super tight. All right, another thing you should know is these, this plate here, the shiv, don't clean it with any kind of chemicals or anything. You can wipe it down with like a dry paper towel or something like that. You don't want to clean it with nothing because uh, when it's like through the belt and stuff like that, it like builds a, like a, a layer on it of like, mm. I don't know, Teflon or something like that, mm. and it helps the belt. When you take these screws off, they come with a little Teflon washer. Don't lose that little washer. You want to make sure that's on there when you put them back on. All right. It's like metal. That could have been from the table, though. Yeah, there you go. Just one. Wow. One roller. All right, we got that roller out. What's up, guys? As you just seen, my brother D Roller 413 just got the secondary clutch off. Um, but if you look over here right now, again, it's a whole different bike. You know what I'm saying? So what we got is another bike with a roller situation. You know what I'm saying? So come over here. 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 As you, you probably can't see. You know what I'm saying? You got your light? Oh, you got it in your pocket? If you look right here, you're missing a roller. There's a roller missing right there. You know what I'm saying? You see all the orange all around here? That's a that's grind up roller. That's what that is. So. Go show them where the roller is on the other one. It's going to show you where the roller is on the other one. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. You got one roller there. You're supposed to have two. See that? Boom. Um, so, as you see, this is a common thing. Uh, what's this? A 2020? 2020? I think it was a 2020. 2020. Uh, Keenan Riker 600. Good smoke, good conversation. You know what I'm saying? Check them out on Instagram. Uh, but obviously, common things. If you got a 2019, 2020, you know what I'm saying? 12, if you have 12,000 miles, you should be allowed to do is do your uh, rollers and your belt. If you're doing your belt, do your rollers every time. Um, he's about 12,000 miles. I think he has a message for the belt right now. So we're going to be resetting that because you know your boy King Joffy Joe will do that for him. We can reset it here for you at 413 Riker Garage. So what I'm going to do is hop over here and we're going to just do what we just did with D Roller 413. So if you've seen him do it, now I'm going to show you do it one more time. You know what I'm saying? Ready? Right here and now. 
Now we're gonna pull off this heat shield here. Get that out the way. It's got a sheet here. Oh, this is this is disgusting. Why is that so greasy? That shouldn't be greasy like that. I think he might have a different problem. Mm, mm, mm. What's going on here? What's going on here, buddy? Huh. Ah, let's see. Let's get this belt off and see what's going on here, guys. Because we might have a different problem going on here. The customer diagnosed this itself, said they need a new belt and a roller, so. Well, they said they need a new boat, and I suggested rollers. But I'm thinking we're going to need something different. I'm thinking we're going to need something different. All right, so now we got the belt off. That was easy. Closer, let's look at this. We're seeing oil, we're seeing oil all down here. You see all that oil? All uh, I'm thinking it's pro oh, look at the bottom of there. See the bottom of there? That's not looking good. It's not looking good. That's looking like we got a broken seal somewhere. Well, obviously, we see we need the axle seal. The axle seal probably needs to be changed. And I'm thinking probably the seal that comes from the engine to the back of here uh, so I'm gonna talk to the customer all right so guys what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be calling the customer and letting him know that it's more bigger, than what he got bigger issues than we thought you know what I'm saying um, he does need rollers, though. He does need rollers. <laughs> it's really like, crazy he needs more than just rollers. you got some oil in here and it's gonna cause mo I'll call some more. Uh, uh, I'm gonna have to take this off. I'm gonna have to take all these plastics off. And we're gonna have to take a deep dive in here because it's looking like the seals are leaking. You know what I'm saying you got 600 and you burn her at um, high RPMs all the time to keep up with 900s, it's not good for your bike. It's not good for your bike. It shouldn't be, look at this, this is all oily. Look at this, this is. It's not good for your bike for you to. So let me show you guys. Let me give you guys a look. Um, I'm gonna put this video up probably tonight because it's a short one. <laughs> let me get a rag. I got a rag right here. Look at this rag. So we got a rag here. This air box. Let me check the filter actually. Let's look at the filter. Swing over, swing over. See what the filter's looking like. Do you got a K in on here? Oh, that's not a K in. -N. Filter's not looking oily on this side. So um, oil is not going in through here. Uh, stick the light down here. Let's see if we got any CNE. Identification of any oil down there. Uh, not seeing nothing down there behind this plastic, but the plastic does meet up to there, so it, it will be leaking on that bottom seal. Because this bottom part of this shaft is what goes to the motor. This top one goes to the transmission. But I see it could be coming off the top no, and leaking come, down because uh, there is some up here, or yeah, it could be coming right. down. It's coming, it's spraying. You it's spraying. See, you can see it spraying right here. You can see the pattern where it sprays. Yeah. I just wipe my finger. Yeah. So, um, all right. So you want? Let's see. So it could be spraying, or it could be. Gripping. See that? That's in the bottom. It's way up here. Yeah. Up here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Remember, I touched the outside of this, and I said that's not supposed to be like that. You know, it's crazy. You know, it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Um, at four one three biker garage, we keep parts on hand. You know what I'm saying? Like he has that oily front on there. You see, we got one of those in stock. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes we got the parts you need. You know what I'm saying? So if you need your bike fixed, you holler at your boy. <laughs> that's, that's official k and uh, product too. All right, guys. So, but uh, yeah, we got to call them. So I think, um, so what we're going to do is, what well, I think the diagnosis is for this is, I think we're going to be pulling this off, which um, we're going to be, let me show you here. So, oh, that. So,
So, to take this off, we're gonna need this tool. You know what I'm saying? Because you need to hold that with something. And this is what you need to pay that. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta buy this tool. That costs money out of my own pocket. You know what I'm saying? Then you gotta buy this tool. Gotta buy that tool. So I'm saying, need these two tools, two specialty tools. And then I just use another specialty tool, because this is a specialty tool. If it goes special for a bike, it's, even though it's easy to get, it's just easy to get. Even though it's easy to get, it's a specialty tool. You know what I'm saying? It's special to this bike, to other bikes. It's not something you use for everything like pliers. You know what I'm saying? So it's a specialty tool. You know what I'm saying? Um, see that right there? This right here? This right here? This right here, specialty tool. It's expensive. You know what I'm saying? Everyone, wish, everyone that fixes bikes wants one of these. They might have one, they might not. But if you, if you fix bikes, if you in New York, if you down south, if you in Houston, if you work on Rikers, not Spiders too, a lot of different vehicles. This goes for a lot of vehicles. You should have one of those, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna let y'all know. I got it on Instagram, I mean, not Instagram. I got it on e eBay. They different prices. You gotta find the one you want, you know what I'm saying? I'll look at the pictures, you know what I'm saying? Y'all wanna look at mine? Look at the pictures, you know what I'm saying? Get what you need. Get the right stuff, this is gonna make you a lot of money. That little thing, you spend a couple hundred for it, a few hundred, you know what I'm saying? Couples of two, few three, you know what I'm saying? You spend a few hundred on that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> spend, spend a hundred on this and a hundred on this, right. you know what I'm saying? Spend like 40 on that, you know what I'm saying? Yo. $600 in tools right there. $600 in tools, I gotta make my money back somehow. <laughs> All right guys, so we'll keep you tuned on this one. I know y'all wanna see this one too, so probably later on. Um, so what I, oh, progress I did on this one so far, screws. We got screws in there, baby. You know what I'm saying? We got screws in there, baby. You know what I'm saying? We got, we got screws in debt. We got, um, so these were messed up. We were missing some of those for the AR, uh, the, um, the, uh, grip, the handlebar grips. We got more screws. Oh, that's that big screw right there. Yeah. We got more bolts. We got more screws, we got more screws, we got more screws. All screws for this bike. Um, right now, what we're waiting for is, we had to use a specialty tool, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we, had, we had to use a specialty tool to get this off, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So you had to do, that's what you had to do. And when you get this off, this is connected to this, so this is all one piece. Yeah. So you need a specialty tool to get this apart. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yo, yo, I'm not making this shit up. This you know what I'm saying? Real. This is some real life shit, yo. This shit is expensive just to make money. You know what I'm saying? So I got a fucking charge. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't nothing against you. I love you all. You know what I'm saying? But I got the tools to do the job. So that's all I'm trying to say. If y'all need the work done, y'all got the tools to do the job. Hit your boy King Joffy Joe up, 413 Riker Garage. Check you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>